where'd you come from? Remember when this used to be attached to the car? Oh, I suck! This year, we're going to be focusing on big city driving problems. Stop, stop, stop! I think we have a potential candidate. Canada's worst driver. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna kill somebody. Let's get ourselves connected. Welcome to the show. I'm Mike Agarbo. And I'm AJ Vickery, and I love the cloud. <laughs> you, you love the cloud? I do. I love the cloud. Do you know that researchers are saying that we'll be storing 36% of all of our digital content online by 2016? Well, you know, it kind of makes sense. Almost every new digital camera comes with online storage, and camera phones can automatically upload every picture they take. Well, right now, the cloud is about 330 exabytes in size, and by 2016, it's going to be up to 4.1 zettabytes. How many DVDs is that? Huh, let me think. Think here. That's uh, probably about 171 trillion. Man, I hate to have to label all those. All right then, let's see who the winner is in today's cloud storage war. You know, if you've ever had a file, photo, or document that you wanted with you at all times and on all your devices like tablets, smartphones, and, and laptops, you've probably tried a service like Dropbox. It's been the perfect cloud storage solution for a lot of people. But Microsoft and Google have their own clouds now with the launch of Windows Live SkyDrive and Google Drive. So which cloud should you trust with your files? Well, let's take a look at each one and see what they have to offer. First up, SkyDrive. You know, being late to the cloud storage game, Microsoft SkyDrive actually offers the most free storage at seven gigabytes. That's over three times the amount that you get with Dropbox. And if that's not enough, you can shell out 25 bucks per year for an additional 50 gigabytes of storage. SkyDrive has most of the cloud syncing features you'd expect, but the killer app is the web interface. It lets you access the files and folders of your other computers from anywhere, just by using a browser. Now, you'll need to install SkyDrive on these machines to access other computers using your Windows Live ID first, but once that's done, you've got access. And if you're a heavy Microsoft Office user and you work with others a lot, SkyDrive was made for you. It does online file collaboration, public file sharing, and even version tracking. And you can do things like edit files online from your work computer using the Microsoft Office suite, as well as edit files by using the Microsoft Office web apps at home, or you can view them via the SkyDrive app on your iPhone or iPad during your daily commute. Now you'll always be working. Can life get any better? Now let's look at Dropbox. It's a favorite with power users thanks to in part to a pretty strong track record. Dropbox gives users the smallest amount of initial free storage at just two gigabytes, but offers a cool referral program that lets you rack up an additional 500 megabytes for each referral sign-up. Long story short, share with your friends and you'll get more storage for yourself. So if someone told you to try Dropbox and then they give you their email address, now you know why. But if you want more Dropbox storage, they charge the most per gigabyte. 100 gigs will cost you $100 per year. That's a bit pricey. A lot of fans like Dropbox because it offers built-in media streaming of various file formats to their iPhone and iPad apps. It also lets you share files and folders online, create public shared folders, and track document versions. But Dropbox doesn't include the ability to edit documents via web-based apps, and it doesn't have its own desktop suite. You'll need to open any document stored in Dropbox in a local editor on your computer or mobile device. Dropbox's greatest strength is the Application Program Interface, or API for short. Since it's been around the longest, many third-party app developers use Dropbox API for file syncing and storage. So if you use a lot of apps, it might make sense to have a Dropbox account for this reason alone. And finally, if you live in the Google ecosystem or you don't use Microsoft Office on your computer, it makes a lot of sense to go with Google Drive. Developed by the Google Docs team, Google Drive offers five gigabytes of free storage in a clean, pleasing interface that's familiar to most Google users. Additional storage is the most affordable of the three that we've looked at, costing only $5 per month for an additional 100 gigabytes. One of the most convenient features is the ability to email any file from your Google Drive account 
account to another user as an email attachment. That's a useful feature that's missing in all the other online drives. Google Drive can also open up to 30 kinds of files right inside your browser, including Photoshop files. Even if you don't have Photoshop installed on your computer, it creates a quick preview inside your web browser. The new grid mode setup is great as well, and it makes it easy to scroll through files. Drive also includes an option to turn on OCR text scanning, that's optical character recognition. Basically, when you upload images to Google Drive, Google will scan them for text and make them searchable. What Google Drive doesn't have is a built-in media streamer. So for many, until Google Drive gets a proper iOS app with a streaming media support, most people will use it as a backup service or simply for storing their documents. Cloud storage options come in different shapes and sizes for storing your files online. The best part about cloud storage, it's free. So instead of choosing just one over the other, why not take advantage of all three and get 14 gigs of storage space to use the way you want to? If that doesn't put you on cloud nine, I don't know what will. Be sure to visit getconnectedmedia.com for videos, reviews, contests, and much more. One question I often get is, great, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, but what do I say? If you're looking for a quick way to generate interesting content, check out a site called Scoop It, which helps you curate content from fellow users and suggestion engines and lets you easily share it. Paying for a business account lets you share with your company's branding and you can get analytics and scheduling of posts as well. The amount of customization is fantastic and the ability to share and personalize your content as you get ready to share it is pretty handy. There's a free version available that does most of what you need and it's definitely worth a try. Coming up after the break, we're on the run from an angry volcano god in a modern remake of an Atari classic, followed by a full exam of health tech that you gotta see. Stay tuned. So well, that's done, eh? What's done? Changing the name of Simply Accounting. No. Yeah, right. You're gonna be calling it Sage 50 Accounting, Canadian edition, eh? Sage 50 Accounting, huh? Oh, I like it. You know, it kind of rolls off the tongue. It's like uh, like Highway 1 or uh, 5440 or uh, oh, Gretzky 99, right? Yep. The name Simply Accounting has gone the way of the penny. Oh, with the old, name with the new. Sage 50 Accounting is in, like the loony, the toony, or have you even heard rumors of a, a five uni? A five uni. You heard me. Look, it's just going to be a name change. Still the same trusted Canadian accounting software it's always been. Born here. Bred here. As much a part of the Canadian landscape as back baking. The world's greatest beer and winning Olympic gold medal in hockey. When you think about it, Simply Accounting has helped thousands of Canadian businesses navigate the frozen accounting tundra for over 25 years. And Sage 50 Accounting will always be the same company at heart. You can count on it. Always Canadian. Always bilingual. The dedication of Canadian businesses will never waver. They stand on guard for thee. That was beautiful, Sam. Yeah, thanks. Related to Trudeau, eh? Oh, man, whatever. Simply Accounting. Become Sage 50 Accounting October 2012. Your Canadian accounting software. Same solution. New name. Renewed commitment to you. Sage. If you're an advisor or an investor, you live in the possible. And the possible, by its very nature, is not about now. It's about next. It's a place where the past isn't prologue. It's the warm-up act. The possible is the main attraction. It's what everyone's there to be part of. The possible is about looking for performance. iShares ETFs. Want to be part of the possible? This is so cool. Wow. That's the stuff of dreams, isn't it? High energy. High powered. High voltage. Freeze! And now, available in high definition. Discovery Channel. Come on! Now I'm ready. Are you kidding me? Welcome back. Well, one of the things that we get asked about most is Facebook and some of the privacy issues. So here are some useful tips. If you like to use Facebook apps, but you don't necessarily want to tell the world what you're doing all the time, then make sure you select the privacy tab when you're installing the apps and change the settings from friends to only me. That'll help a lot. 
Also, if you don't want people to always know where you are, but that buddy you're with keeps tagging you guys everywhere you go, then there's an easy way out of that. Select privacy settings from the top right drop down menus. Click edit settings next to the timeline and tagging. Now, in the timeline and tagging window, select review tags friends add to your own posts on Facebook. This will pop up a tag review window. Change it from disabled to enabled, then click back. And you're done. Now you can control those crazy friends who can't stop tagging you in photos. Speaking of photos, if you have a photo that you uploaded to Facebook and the photo isn't quite centering right on your timeline, you can fine tune this. Press the pencil icon on the top right corner and select reposition photo. You can move your picture to a place where followers might be more tempted to click on that pic to see what's going on. If you want to create a little online spot where you and your friends or co-workers can be totally private, you can make your own private groups. Press more next to your groups tab, then on the next page press create group. Name the group and add members along with selecting an icon. And make sure you mark the group as secret. If you want others to see the group and the members but not the post, then select closed. There's just a few tips on how to get more out of your Facebook experience. You know, 1982 was a big year for adventurers. First, there was Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, and then there was Pitfall Harry in Activision's Pitfall. Now, it's been 30 years since Pitfall Harry donned his hat and his whip, taking to the jungles of the Atari 2600. Celebrating this momentous milestone, Activision has released Pitfall for iOS 5 and Android 4, and it shows how very far we've come. From the original 8-bit graphics to today's fully interactive 3D adventure, it's been a real journey. The action in this game, though, is a little bit new and different. It's kind of like Cannibalt or Temple Run. It's a free-running adventure to escape an angry volcano god. Along the way, you're going to collect treasures, kill enemies, and just try to get out of the way. The game's packed with gorgeous 3D graphics and beautiful stereo sound. The controls are easy to pick up, too. You're going to swipe to jump or swipe to slide and tilt back and forth to control. It's really easy to pick up. The great thing about it, you can play for just a few minutes at a time. Pitfall also does feature in-app purchases. For example, $3 will let you double your treasure multiplier so you can get more in-game currency. One thing I really like, it's a universal app, so you only have to buy it once and you get it both on your iPhone and on your iPad. It's also Retina Ready, which means that if you've got a newer device, it's going to look great. It's also a social app, which means you can tweet and Facebook share your victories with friends and family. So while it might not be the game that 2600 fans remember, Activision has created a new pitfall that anyone from any generation can love. It's an addictive game that's easy to pick up and difficult to master, making it well worth the 99 cents in the long run. Do you guys hear that? Is that a boulder? I gotta go. Tune in to us on Get Connected Radio every Saturday on the Chorus Radio Network. Consumer technology is being incorporated into every facet of our lives. Smartphones and tablets now work with our alarm clocks, televisions, and believe it or not, even new washing machines, collecting data on just about everything we do. And one of the biggest consumer tech trends we're seeing is in the healthcare industry. Technology is helping us stay active and healthy by collecting our personal data metrics, such as hours quality sleep, heart rate, eating habits, and running workouts and routes. Today, we're going to show you three healthcare-related products that have been reinvented with a technology twist. And I've got good old Andy here to be the guinea pig. Thanks, See, I, I don't have to do the fitness segments anymore. I know, you make me do them now, eh? Because I'm so fit. <laughs> or maybe not. So this is kind of cool. This uh, actually measures your blood pressure through an iPhone app. That's right, Mike. It's the iHealth Blood Pressure Dock, the world's first ever blood pressuring monitoring system for the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. With the free app, the iHealth app turns into an iPhone or iPad into a powerful blood pressure monitor. It's very simple and user-friendly. It records your systolic and diastolic pressure, heart rate, measure times, and pulse waves. Well, this is cool because years of data only take up the space of a few songs and they can be displayed graphically. So once we've got your blood pressure, this is kind of 
could be neat or kind of weird. You can email to share your results with friends or family members to keep them notified of your current situation and historical results. You can also email your doctor or other medical professionals as part of an analysis of your health. And of course, you can certainly share this data on Facebook or Twitter. And why wouldn't you want to? Oh, I'll definitely retweet your own blood pressure. <laughs> And I like the fact that you can check your blood pressure at home, which makes it a lot less intimidating. And the nice thing is uh, it does double as a charger for your eye devices. So uh, even as it's squeezing the life out of your arm, you're not losing any battery life. At least the phone's charging. So let's uh, talk about fitness now. We've got to keep fit because we want to keep the blood pressure down. Well, if you are a busy professional and you do have high blood pressure, the best remedy is to get some exercise, and that's where the fit desk comes into play. This is an exercise bike with a laptop workstation that lets you surf the web, check your email, plus do things like Facebook and Twitter. This is crazy. But you know, it's perfect for people who want to get more out of the day by hitting two birds with one stone. The uniqueness of the Fit Desk lies in the comfortable foam top that allows you to rest your elbows forward, supporting your weight while keeping your hands free to type, use a mouse, or hold a video game controller. But can you actually type on here? Like, is it practical? Oh, I'm running an email right now, Mike. Of course you are. <laughs> it comes with a removable and washable cover. The deck cover has two side storage pockets holding a cell phone, a TV remote, or any other small device. Your laptop is actually held securely with these straps right here so it doesn't move. Folded for easy storage with transport wheels, and it has a pedal resistance control knob to adjust the tension. Well, you know, the bottom line, I think, is that the Fit Desk is a great choice for people who spend most of their time sitting at a computer, allowing you an ergonomic and safe way to exercise while you work. Mm -hmm. Perfect for you. Well, it's small enough to fit into a corner, folds for easy storage, and there are wheels on the bottom so you can easily move it around. The laptop pad is a little bulky, Mike, and it requires some time and some patience to assemble, but overall, the Fit Desk is a great buy. Okay, Lance Armstrong, let's see how much you weigh now if this exercise has paid off. All right, hold on, let me just finish this email. Well, once you've incorporated an exercise regime, the next step is to see how much weight you've lost with something like the iHealth Digital Scale. That's right. The iHealth Digital Scale works in conjunction with the iHealth Digital Scale app, which is free at the App Store. So this is kind of cool. You can uh, easily record your daily weight measurements on your iPhone with wireless Bluetooth connection, even when you're on the go. So you can get your weight, you can see it right on the LED screen, but it also sends it uh, to the iPhone wirelessly. Simple and personalized graph tools help manage and track your progress over time, even set target goals using the milestone feature. Well, the iHealth Digital Scale app makes it easy to organize your personal data and securely share it with email to your doctor. Mm -hmm. And the iHealth Digital Scale supports multiple users on multiple mobile devices so family members can share. I'm sure uh, wives would love that feature. Well, yeah, totally. Probably not. <laughs> In the future, I think we're going to see a lot more health-related products that capture our personal data metrics. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future this data gets relayed directly to medical professionals so they can prevent illnesses rather than treat them after the fact. So you know what I'm thinking now? What's that? I think we need some more exercise. Well, I think you... Me? Me? No, you. <laughs> and more emails. Get back to work. Well, the Fit Desk is fantastic. You know, it's silent and it doesn't look like the most conventional way to get work done, but it seems like it works all right. I gotta admit that uh, I was... Uh, Skeptical at first, but uh, Andy really likes it. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of deaths every year due to inactivity, and that's some pretty, pretty scary stuff. Oh, don't die on me here. <laughs> we love our tech, and you know, these kinds of tools are a great way to change it up from the typical sitting in front of a screen all day. Or at least when we have to, we're, uh, we're getting some exercise. You know, I wonder if we could uh, get like a dual one here, or maybe, you know, tandem kind of thing. No, no, it's just because it's harder if I pull on your back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of weird, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We're checking out Toshiba's new Ultra Wide Ultrabook after the break, so stick around to get the big picture on why wide is better. Presents When Forgotten Passwords Attack. Oh no! I've forgotten my password! And the computer's gonna self destruct! Call the IT manager! You forgot?
forgot your password during a self-destruct sequence. Luckily, thanks to Intel V Pro technology on Dell's new Latitude Notebooks, I can reset your password from anywhere. Hurry! Quick, think of a new password. Uh, There's no time! Uh, Come on! Kitten Rainbow Magic! Kitten Rainbow Magic? Kitten Rainbow Magic! Kitten Rainbow Magic! You did good. Thank you, IT manager. You're my hero. Dell, the power to do more. Last year, at Intact Insurance, we helped thousands of Canadians restore their damaged homes. But what really matters to us is helping people like Stephanie who can now get back to her normal rhythm of life. Enjoy your home, Stephanie. You're back. Your home, your auto, your business. Ask your broker about Intact Insurance Company. Intact Insurance, you're back. This fall, be part of the journey and celebrate the 100th Grey Cup on TSN. November 25th on TSN. Closed casting of this program is brought to you in part by AGF. What are you doing after work? Here's some more tips on Google search that you'll find can really get you to the information you need faster than ever before. I'll bet that you didn't even know about at least one of these, so here we go. If you want to know the time anywhere in the world, just ask Google in plain English, what time is it? For example, I'll type, what time is it in New York, and boom, instant answer. No GMT math necessary. If you've got a flight to catch, don't bother going to the airline website and looking through all the information. Just simply type the airline and the flight number into Google, and you'll get the status right away. I love that one. And you can throw away the idea of conversion sites and apps away. Just type it into Google. Say you want to figure out how many minutes are in a decade, for example. Just type minutes in a decade. And for you geeks out there, type a number and get it in hex or binary by typing in hex or in binary after the number. This does currency, teaspoons, tablespoons, distances. Give it a try. One I like for finding alternatives is using quotes and typing statements like better than or sounds like, or reminds me of, so we can have better than iPod, or sounds like Hall & Oates, one of my favorites, and reminds me of avocados, super handy. There are some killer Google search tips for you, and we'll keep them coming. It used to be that there was work, usually lots of it, and the rest of your life, usually not enough. But nowadays, people are looking for ways to better balance work and life without, of course, sacrificing productivity. And this is exactly where Ultrabooks come in. Their thin and lightweight styling combined with a long battery life makes them a great, versatile tool for achieving work-life balance. Today, we're taking a look at two very different Ultrabooks from Toshiba, the Satellite Z930 and the Satellite U840W. First up, for those who love their freedom, we've got the Toshiba Z930. Few things say work-life balance quite as much as carrying everything you need to conduct business on your bicycle. The Z930 is one of the world's lightest 13.3-inch laptops, making it easy to pack or unpack on the go. It's made out of a tough and durable magnesium alloy case, so it can stand up to everyday use. Like lots of Ultrabooks, you're going to find a solid-state drive inside. SSDs are light, thin, and fast, and they don't have any moving parts, making them more reliable than traditional hard drives. The Z930 uses Intel's Rapid Start technology to go from off to Windows in just a few seconds. Seconds. One of the questions we get asked the most is, does an Ultrabook have the power I need? Well, that all depends on what you do, but the Z930 has a third generation Intel Core processor, so it's fast enough to handle your everyday tasks and even take care of some of the heavy duty stuff, like watching HD videos. 
The great thing is that it's really power efficient, making good use of its eight hours of battery life per charge. The 13.3 inch display is a good size with lots of room for apps. You can also plug in an external display to connect to your HD TV for some big picture action. And if you're working late into the night, the Z930 even has a backlit spill resistant keyboard. It lights up when it gets dark so you can keep working or playing. And at the end of the day, even when it's asleep, it can do some extra work for you. Plug in your smartphone, tablet, or MP3 player into the sleep and charge port and it'll juice up your device overnight. Now next up, we have the eye-catching U840W, a great choice for work-life balance with its wider-than-wide 14-inch screen. It has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which gives you enough space to put your app side by side and see the full picture on both. Perfect for multitasking. Toshiba includes this handy split-screen utility. It automatically divides the screen with pre-configured and custom viewpoint grids. You can see a full web page and keep your eye on your Twitter feed or keep notes while working on a spreadsheet. Powering a screen like this takes some power, and the U840W doesn't disappoint. It's got a third-generation Intel Core processor, lots of RAM, and dual storage system with a traditional hard drive and an SSD boot drive for speed. The best part? It only weighs three and a half pounds, so it's easy to carry as well. Of course, work-life balance involves enjoying some well-deserved downtime, and the U840 is also perfect for movies and TV shows. The ultra-wide screen lets you watch movies without those ugly black bars on top and on bottom, and it has SRS premium surround sound for big sound to go with your big picture. So that's the skinny on ultra-wide screens. It's clear that Toshiba is committed to stretching the boundaries of what Ultrabooks are and what they can do. Well, now it's time for me to balance out all this work with a little bit of, um, I don't know, golf, swimming. watch all your favorite videos on YouTube on the Get Connected TV Show channel. You know, I think Toshiba's really doubling down on the super wide. I love the look of that uh, Ultrabook. So do I. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, how often have you wanted to have two documents side by side? In fact, the shift to widescreen increased productivity by almost 30%. Now, ultra wides like the Toshiba are like having that sort of second screen in your laptop without having to lug around an extra monitor. I love it. That's right. Well, it's a big change, and it's one I'm going to get used to. Well, that wraps it up for this week. We're done with the cloud, so next week I'm taking to the skies with a look at the tech up there. Well, so buckle up and make sure your tray table is in the upright position because we'll see you again next week. No broker, no advisor, no TV expert. Nobody can help you make money in the stock market like Vector Vest. I'm John Stevens. And I'm Cole Stevens. And before we invest, we check with Vector Vest. Only Vector Vest 7 Canada gives you the answers you need to pick winners day in and day out. It is quite simple to use Vector Vest, and, and uh, my son and I have both been winners. Not just raw data, real answers, tick by tick, all day long. What I want to do is surround myself with knowledge that's going to help me be successful. VectorVest does that for me. No one else has it. No one else does it. When to buy, what to buy, when to sell. When they suggest you sell or they don't advocate buying stocks at this time, you should listen.
Vector Vest 7 Canada. Visit VectorVest.ca to order your risk-free trial. We do the work, you reap the profits. You made peace. You chose love. You rocked out. It's been an amazing ride so far. There's only one thing left to do. Define the world again in your retirement. Start by talking to an RBC advisor. With a number of eye-opening questions, we can help you picture your next 20-plus years. Even when pants got wider and hair got longer, you stayed true to your roots. You chose to create your own values and started to appreciate the value of a dollar. You've spent a lifetime saving, and RBC can show you how to get the most out of your money. And remember the electronic age? Workweeks got longer and life got